What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here, welcome to the Geek Lounge. In today's video we are continuing our Naruto 20th anniversary celebration by opening up some Naruto Kaiyu cards. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've had this box for a while. I've been really, really eager to get into it. As I mentioned, they are called Kaiyu cards. I'm not sure if that is the distributor. I mean, someone do let me know in the comment section below if they do know. But yeah, I just know them as Kaiyu cards. They are an officially licensed product from China. I actually discovered them over on BAM Collectibles. I mean, he doesn't really need a plug from me at all. But if you guys have never checked out BAM Collectibles, be sure to check him out. He's a huge Naruto fan. He has the most enviable Naruto statue collection I've ever seen. I can honestly watch his content all day long so be sure to check him out if you are a fan of Naruto. And like I said I discovered this on his channel he's opened hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of packs on his channel and I really like the look of them. I've actually been looking uh, for a bunch of anime cards uh, to collect for quite a while not just Naruto I was looking at like Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, you know Jujutsu Kaisen and I just didn't really like the look of a lot of things I've seen. A lot of them are like just images taken from the anime and I didn't really want this whereas these have some like really cool designs on them uh, you know it goes really well with like the Chinese writing as well I mean we will get into these in just a second but I will just give you guys a little bit more information on it in case you do enjoy these and don't make the same mistake that I did. So I've pulled out the phone so I can go through this very quickly for you guys with, as always, my trusty Akatsuki screen protector. So this specific box, as I understand it, is Tier 2 Wave 3. There are currently, I think, four tiers and maybe a fifth one is coming out now and they all have then various different waves and as I understand it the higher the tier the like rarer the pulls you can get uh, but then in the different waves there are like different cards anyway and I don't think there's a sort of known amount of um, you know how many cards there are exactly there are a bunch of lists I should say all the information I'm getting is from the Kaiyu Naruto card collectibles English group over on Facebook which is yeah it is actually a group uh, as you guys can see there if it does go into focus a group by BAM collectibles uh, himself so yeah, pretty cool group that has a lot of information, but I think there's still a lot of unknowns as well. You know, I mean, this is a product, like I said, officially licensed, might I add, uh, from China. So I think it's a bit difficult for everyone to know exactly what's going on, at least in terms of English. There are like a bunch of things, as you guys can see here, like pages, if that is, I think it's going into focus. You kind of go across and it tells you what cards you can get in what box. That's the box that I've actually managed to pick up. So I think the, the kind of two uh, top pulls I can get there are Hinata as well as Kakashi in his Ambu outfit. There are varying degrees of rarity. You guys can see it's got like SP, CR, O R M R A R. I don't think there's quite a known, uh, you know, exactly what they stand for. I think maybe rare, super rare, some things, but you know, people have uh, various different opinions in the group. This is the mistake I made. I actually did kind of little research and ended up finding this box and a bunch of boxes on Amazon.com. Nothing on Amazon.co.uk, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, I ended up paying. I want to say with like shipping costs as, as well as VAT, it was something around £70. And then I later discovered, uh, once I did find this Facebook group, that yeah, I could have got this for probably more than 50% cheaper, maybe even 60% cheaper uh, through AliExpress. A lot of sellers on AliExpress, uh, a lot legit, some not quite from what I've understood. Um, but yeah, guys, if you do enjoy these, you want to check them out more, go and join this group. But that is enough rambling from me, guys. It is time to get into this box. So I think you do just push it I, I kind of don't really want to because it is like a really nice box um but i think yeah ah so you can actually just open it up there but there is like a, a, a pushing lid as well there is I, I didn't really mention anything about the the front of this box we've got what naruto sakura uh sasuke and my man sasori there here we go we have all the packs so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There is the pack for you guys as well. It's the same artwork as the box. Let's now get into them. All right, guys, not off to a good start because the footage was really crappy when I opened this pack. So I've rearranged some things and this looks much better now. So these were the cards that I pulled in the first pack. You get five in a pack. The sort of rarer pull is at the back. This is an SSR Asima. Looks pretty cool. Uh, 
right, here we go then. Let's hope that this pack goes much better. Yeah, the lighting and everything is so much more better here. And we've got like a young Choji. But like I said, I'm not really going to go through all of these too much. Uh, probably going to have a look at them more at the end. So we have an SR... Oh God, I've forgotten his name. One of the uh, Sand Village Elders, Lady Chio's... Uh, what was it? A brother, I think. Yeah, can't really remember his name. But yeah, another pretty cool card. Number three, then. You guys would have probably noticed the R in the top corner. I think that is uh, just for the regular one. So it looks like you get four regulars, as you guys can see here. And then you get like one rarer one at the end. So we have an SR Sasuke there. It's just been announced as well that his um his story between, uh, or, or I should say after the war, is now getting adapted into a manga. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. I think it comes out towards the end of this month. Pack number four here. I see Kiba at the beginning. So what are we going to get here? We have, oh, upside down, we have an SSR Kakashi Sensei. Apologies, I went off camera a bit there. Yeah, that is a pretty cool card. Fifth pack here then, guys. What are we going to get next? So, a couple of Naruto's there, another Sasuke. And we have an SR. Ah, again, I forget this guy's name. Yeah, it's not really going to come to me. People let me know in the comment section below. He was part of that, um, ah, the group that Asuma was with. Yeah, yeah, the name escapes me, but yeah, that's still a pretty cool card. Pack number six then, guys. And I think SSRs are so far the rarest ones we've got. I think there are still like maybe five or six uh, higher rarities than those. So hopefully we can get some of those uh in these packs here we have another ssr of granny chiho there to go with her brother whose name i still can't remember yeah that one's really cool and here we go next guys we probably will get quite a few doubles at least that's what i've seen uh, from a lot of people's openings and we have an sr shino there yeah, these do have some really nice color to them uh yeah another pretty cool card eighth pack here then guys Let's get in and see what we got. So our rare card here is an SSR Psy. Yeah, another really cool. I really do like the colors on these SSRs, but yeah, I do hope we might get some of the more rarer cards in the set. But then this is only a tier two from what I understand. So yeah, the chances of getting rarer cards are less than like tiers three and four. At least that is what I understand. So we have a Choji, a Sakura, a Naruto, a Kushina, and an SR Sakura as well yeah again nice color schemes going on these cards next pack here guys what are we gonna get i see a kakashi sensei there and we have gara of the sand the fifth kazakagi the ssr yeah i really do like that one he actually is one of my favorite characters in the series come on something rarer than an ssr though not really keeping my fingers crossed at least from the information that i've learned since i bought this box what do we have here oh an sr minato yeah that's really cool with his hokage jacket as well what is coming up next i see a naruto there what else are we gonna get we have an ssr rock lee yeah a really cool card. I find him and Mike Guy absolutely hilarious. Lucky number 13 then here, guys. Or maybe unlucky number 13. Let's see. I see Karim there. What else did we get? We have ourselves an SR of the two brothers. Oh, what were the names? Gen Genkakai and Kenkakai. Something like that. <laughs> can't entirely remember and I call myself a fan of Naruto right but yeah that is also a pretty cool card we've had no duplicates yet on the rarer sort of cards that we get but obviously nothing higher than an SSR just yet so here we have what, Sakura let's keep going and we have a Naruto SSR uh, I assume that's him doing the Rasengan or is it the win yeah Rasengan there couldn't really 
tell they're in the light. Yeah, that's really cool. Look at the little design they've got, uh, the, the sort of notches going around there. Yeah, that is very cool. Pack number 15, guys. We are halfway there, living on a prayer. And let's pray that we can get something a little rarer than the SSR cards. We have an SR Sakura. I think it is different. Yeah, she's here. So it is actually different to the other SR Sakura we got. Yeah, it's cool not to get a duplicate, I guess. And we are now on to the second pile, guys. The second half of the box. I see another Naruto there. Who are we going to get? Oh, yeah. The X. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I actually choked from the excitement. We pulled the SP Kakashi in his Ambu outfit. This is one of the two rarest pulls in this set. Yeah, look at that. That is a beauty. I, I thought for a second there was maybe some damage here in the corner, but I actually think like the uh, SP, if you guys can make that out, it's kind of like rounded a little bit. That is really cool. I actually haven't been showing off the backs of these cards as well. I have seen some um like error ones on the back where it's like a completely different character. But yeah, there is the back of that card. And yeah, guys, that is cool. My first ever box to pull one of the rarer pulls in the box and it is an absolute beaut. All right, guys, it would be really cool if we got the other SP card in this wave. There are some of the, uh, well, I think they were called AR cards. They look really cool as well. I would like to pull a couple of those if I could, but let's see what we can get here. We got an SR Sasuke. Here, another really cool card, as I mentioned, that anime, uh, pardon me, not the anime, the manga um, of his story after the war. Uh, it's, or it's been, like, it's already a book, right? And then they're making a manga adaptation, and I imagine we will get an anime adaptation of it as well somewhere down the line. Next pack here, guys. Let's keep going. It's actually upside down. So, who are we going to get here? We have... Oh yeah, Itachi. I, oops, pardon me. I was actually looking at off camera. I wasn't actually showing you guys probably the SSR Itachi. I mentioned he was one of my favorite characters, but he is like one of the favored characters uh, for most people. And yeah, that is a really cool card. Come on, more rarities. So what have we got here? Captain Yamato Kakashi. Can't remember his name. We have our first duplicate. I think anyway, uh, I'm just looking off to the side. No, you know what? It's actually not because although we do have a few SR Sasuke's, it's actually a different one uh, as was the one where he is a little bit older as well. So yeah, another Sasuke card to add to the collection. Again, a pretty cool one. I don't know if you guys actually noticed on that last pack, the um, the Kunkuro card was like massively creased and damaged. I don't really know what that was all about because none of the others were. But here we go then in our next pack, guys. Are we going to get anything sexy? We kind of are, I guess, to an extent. Yes, wait, what number? A U R. Yes, a U R. And this is Naruto from Boruto. If I'm not mistaken, I'm still watching Shippuden guys i haven't got far to go um but yeah i believe that is naruto uh from the baruto series because they do have uh baruto cards in here as well and yeah as you guys can see that is a ur rarity which is higher than the ssr i love like the kanji in the background as well yeah that is a really cool card on to the next pack guys here i see another karina i feel i've seen a lot of carrying here but like i said these uh i don't know if r is for regular some people said it was for uh rare and then it just kind of goes up from there but yeah i've seen a lot of her and we're probably going to see a lot of the same r's as well so here we have the sr eno there another pretty cool card she um you know what i'm not even going to say it but yeah i feel she was like the crush probably of a lot of youngsters. Their first kind of Naruto crush before everyone probably then fell for Hinata. And speaking of Hinata, come on that SP card. It would be really cool to get it. Though I would like to get one of the AR cards as well so I can show those off to you guys because I think they do look really cool as well. So what have we got here? Pardon me, the focus went out there for a bit. Tamari, Sakura, Sasuke, another 
um, Sakura. And what do we have here? Another Sasuke, a SSR one. And it is again different. So I feel like we've got a bunch of different rare Sasuke's. But yeah, I love the design on that one. Is that like the Amaterasu? I think it is, right? The Amater Amaterasu? Oh God, I call myself a fan of Naruto. Guys, it is very late. Um, it's the Black Fire. You guys know what I mean. What will we get in this next pack, guys? I am seeing the ever funny uh, Rock Lee there. Pardon me, I was just saving the packet from falling on the floor. We have Choji, the SR adult Choji there. Is he like eating something? Oh, he's, he's got like something in his hand. Pardon me, I just had to have a look at it off camera there. Yeah, very cool. I'm very happy that I like haven't got any duplicates of any of the rare cards yet but uh yeah certainly we haven't got too many of the very very rare ones next pack it up here guys i am seeing a, another sakura here so what did we get sakura sakura we get a naruto here the sr naruto from when he was a youngster rocking the blue and orange outfit yeah pretty cool next packet here then guys we are seeing i think it's gamakichi right yeah i think that is what are we gonna get for our rare card we have kakashi sensei once again the sr version though this time we already pulled the sp earlier i do yeah we had an ssr kakashi as well didn't we so not the same card the ssr one certainly looks cooler and i think they are rarer like i said but yeah that is still a very cool card and we are down to our final five packs guys let's hope for something really really cool so what have we got and hanabi isn't it? i think that's uh hinata's younger sister we have rockley the sr rockley there sort of kneeling down it's almost like he's doing his shoelace but they obviously don't have shoelaces there with his backpack as i said rockley i find him absolutely hilarious him and mike guy yeah another cool card to add to the collection final four now guys and we looks like we have pakun right there that's quite a cool one so what are we gonna get for our rare card we have might guy and it is the ur another one of the rarer cards i, I need to check uh, at the end where you are sort of stands i can't remember if it's like maybe third or fourth in terms of rareness but yeah this is very cool again we've got like the kanji in the background uh, yeah, I think it's the first Might, uh, first Might Guy card we've had as well, and it is a real cool one. Down to the final three now, guys. What are we gonna get here? We have the lovely Hinata to start things off. Kakashi Gamabunta again. I can't remember that guy's name, and we have an S R Naruto. Is that the same one? we pulled have we got no it isn't i was just looking off camera to find it so it is different uh in a different kind of stance essentially but in that old school orange and blue outfit yeah pretty cool final two packs guys so the penultimate pack right here looks like connor Hamaru is going to start us off so what are we going to get sai kushina naruto eating uh some ramen there that's pretty cool and we have another mic guy it is the sr1 in that typical pose with the thumbs up i actually feel if you guys have seen the uh the recent fungo pop releases i feel the mic guy one just looked a little bit too much like rock lee and i really felt that they should uh, have done him in this sort of typical thumbs up pose i think that would have looked really cool just like this card is and we are down to our final pack guys and let's hope we can finish on a bang we are starting here with sai we have choji we have oh zigetsu oh part of sasuke's team yeah it's guys it's really late we have Eno, and the final card is an ar so we do finish on a bang guys i wanted to show uh one of these off to you because i thought they looked real cool and we have the ar kazakagi himself gara yeah that is really cool look at the color schemes there the reds and the blacks and you know the kind of foilness whatever the correct term is yeah i'm really happy to finish on that ar card that is really really cool and so there you have it guys these are all my main pulls 
from the 30 packs. We're going to have to come out a little bit more so you guys can see them all. But uh, yeah, I think pretty cool. Really happy we got that SP card. Like I said, I think that is the highest rarity there, the Kakashi SP. I think next on the list was then CR, then you had OR, MR, which we didn't get any of those. Then it was AR, where we got that really, really cool Gata card. And then next up was UR, where we got two of those. The uh, Is it supposed to be Hokage Naruto? I'm not entirely too sure. Like I said, I haven't got to Boruto just yet. Someone do let me know in the comment section below. And then, of course, the UR Mike guy. After that, then does come the SSRs, the SRs, and finally the Rs. So, yeah, guys, I think we did pretty well, like I said, to get that SP Kakashi in his Ambu outfit. It is a really, really cool looking card. But yeah, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. So first and foremost, let me thank you guys for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if so, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Drop some comments below. If you guys do collect these Caillou cards, let me know how well I did on my first ever box. And we've got plenty more Naruto content coming your way, guys, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the release of the anime. Loads of Naruto content throughout the month of October. We will, of course, have more Star Wars content as we continue our very own Star Wars celebration here on the Geek Lounge. More Fungo Pops, you name it, we've got it, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for all of that and more. What is the easiest way to stay tuned? It's very simple. Subscribe. Hit, click, smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video and we will see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds.